Hi lovelies, today we're going to look at the dreaded ball drop. Now a lot of people get super scared of this one, but there really isn't a lot to be afraid of. And once you understand how it works and you put some safety precautions in place, you're going to be just fine. So this is one of those tutorials that I am going to put up on YouTube for not only my um, online membership, but also for anybody else who wants to try this one. But it comes with a couple of caveats. So the first is you need to have a crash mat. In the 10 years of teaching this one, no one's ever actually missed the pole. They've always caught it. However, it is possible to miss the pole. And if you do, you are going to smash your knees into your floor. So you need a crash mat. I would never try this at home without one. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second is you need to have two strong prerequisites. The first is a climb so we can get enough height. And the second is a ball seat. I am not going into detail for either of those skills today. On my platform, I have tutorials that will teach you those skills. And there is a seven day free trial. So come and join us if you would like to access those, okay? On my platform, all the tutorials have a list of the prerequisite tutorials in the description. So you always know exactly what you need to work on. And everything is in a rough order of ability. So you can follow along as you go. You don't have to guess what to learn in what order anymore. Now, I am doing this on a silicon pole. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I've got a lot of layers on so that I don't burn my skin off. <laughs> but if you do have a silicon pole, it's possible. Just wear all of the layers. Um, some fabrics do not work well on silicon and you will not be able to move at all because of the fabric, not because of you. So you've got to pick your fabrics wisely. Okay, so to begin with, with this one, you're probably not going to move a whole lot. We're going to have to build it up over time. And it's important, in my opinion, to do little and often with this one. If you now go and spend half an hour drilling this one over and over and over, you are going to regret it because you are going to be bruised and your skin is going to be burnt. <laughs> so just a couple of times today and then keep coming back to it. And over time, it will get easier. I honestly think I've only just really started properly clicking with this one recently. I could do it before, but not very well. And now, 10 years down the line, I feel very confident about it. So it's not necessarily going to happen overnight. However, I did teach it to some of my students last week for the first time ever in my intermediate group. And there were a couple of them who were phenomenal. They were literally like from the top of the poles to the bottom straight away, made it look really easy, looked utterly amazing. So some people will take this more easily than others, standard. Okay, so I'm not going to do a left and right breakdown for this one because there's not really a lot of difference between sides. You just need to pick the side you're comfortable with. So I'm not going to go super high to begin with. Again, please put your crash mat down. Do not try this without a crash mat for the first time. So I go to my seated position. I pick my side. I like to go over to my right. Uncross the legs, tuck them up, bring the arm around. Feet are tucking to the bum. Now, the first thing to note, we don't want to lean to the side too much with this one. The more we lean, the more it locks this top hip into the pole. We won't be able to move anywhere. Okay, I'm literally stuck. So we want to think more about keeping our chest close to the pole and coming forward towards our legs as opposed to the side. Now, I'm probably not going to do a very big one because I'm quite low anyways. But what we're going to do, I go down, up, open, re-grip. Okay, and I have to do it with some movements because you can see that I can open and I can straighten my legs and I'm not going anywhere. That's because I have to throw the grip point off of the pole. So I'm here, up, down. Okay, now that's probably what you're going to like to begin with, barely moving. That's normal. Okay, so let's talk about this, not up the pole. So imagine I'm in my ball seat. My grip points are primarily on the inside of my top thigh okay there's a little bit on the side as well and there's a little bit on the second thigh as well on the back of that leg we need to get those grip points off the pole so what I'm doing I go down first but I do it fast so I'm like boom boom okay I'm not like ha ah, slowly curl in slowly curl out it's boom boom <laughs> okay so I curl in 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm throwing all my grip points off of the pole. This means releasing this bottom leg. So it's gonna be on the back of the thigh. I'm gonna take it this way. I'm gonna pull it into my chest. And my top leg is gonna go out. Okay, I start to straighten. You wanna be careful that you don't do this. Because if you come up too high and throw your arms back, now I've added an armpit and a side grip. It's gonna stop me from moving. So we don't wanna come up too high. We wanna keep the chest and the arm off the pole. You will still have a tiny bit of contact with the pole on your side. Not enough to stop you from dropping, okay? But enough to give you some contact with the pole so that when you re-grip, you end up in the right place. Remember, we need to be careful we don't tip out once we release everything. We're not going like this because then you may tip out sideways. <laughs> okay, so make sure you got your crash mat and be very aware. Okay, so we climb, we go into seat, we pick our sides, doesn't matter which, try both. One might be better than the other. We go into our ball seat. Remember, I've got a tutorial for this one. I can turn myself a little bit so you can see better. Now it's very hard with this one to do it solely. What I might do actually is slow-mo the video. So I'm gonna go in, out, open, and then I just grab again. As long as you pull your knees in, and I actively grab my legs and pull them into the pole, you can't miss the pole. You'll just re-grip. So ready, three, two, one, up, down. I didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> And I've lost my microphone. It's all going wrong today, guys. It's all going wrong. So let me go for one really big one. And then I'm going to try and put it as a slow-mo in the video. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to do it. So I don't have much height in here, which makes it hard as well. So I go into my ball seat. And then I'm going to head forward first. And then I'm going forward a little bit more. Bounce up down. That was not a big one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slow down the video from the beginning so you can kind of see what's going on. But key points, remember, keep forwards. Look at the ground. That might feel scary, but look at the ground. Open. Okay, the legs need to come away. Your grip points need to come off the pole without adding the chest and the armpit. And then to catch, as long as you curl back in, think nose to knee and grab both your knees and hug them, you will stop. Okay, you will not keep plummeting down to earth as long as you remember to do that. Okay, that little voice in your brain that says, this ain't a great idea, this is scary. Those butterflies in your stomach, tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> if you've got your crash mat, you're gonna be fine, okay? Don't go too big too fast, make it smaller and then build up to do more and more of a drop. But in that head of yours, I want you to be saying, I can fucking do this, I'm gonna fucking do this, I'm gonna give it my all, I'm really gonna go for it. Because amping yourself up like that is going to make the difference between doing it and not doing it. And remember, little and often, if you're on my platform, remember I'm here to help you. So hit me up if you have any questions or concerns. And also let me see it. If you get it, I want to see it. This is such an impressive, amazing one. If you get it, it's a, it's a really good one to be proud of. And I want to help you out if you're struggling. So let me know, hit me up. And don't forget to train smarter, not harder.